Welcome back to Python interview coding series. Today I will discuss mostly asked coding question and their solution. Before going to start, I appeal you to watch this series from the first video so that you can get a clear understanding of what type of question are asked in the coding interview round. So let us start the discussion. The question is write an algorithm to determine if number is happy. Now how to calculate whether the given number is happy or not? That we need to understand. A happy number is a number defined by the following process. Starting with any positive integer, replace the number by sum of its square of its digits and repeat the process until the number equal to 1. Or it loops endlessly in a cycle which does not include 1. Those numbers for which this process ends in a 1 are as a happy number. Let us take an example 94. So first of all individual digit square we have to find it out. 9 square plus 4 square. So total addition is 97. We will repeat the process for 97, 9 square plus 7 square. So the addition of that both digit square is 130 which is not a 1. So we can repeat the process for 3 digit, 1 square, 3 square and 0 square. We will get the answer as a 10 which is not again 1. So we again repeat the process 1 square plus 0 square we will get the answer is 1. So that number is a happy number. We will take a one more example to understand the happy number and that is 20. So same process I am going to repeat here. 2 square is 4 plus 0 square is 0. So the answer is 4. 4 is not 1. That's why this 20 is not a happy number. So now we will try the solution for this particular problem through the Python code. Before going to start this discussion, if you first time visit the channel, then do subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get the latest update on this interview topic. So let us start the solution. The solution of this problem I break into two parts. First of all, to find out the square of number, square of the number. And in the second part, we'll check whether that number is happy number or not. So in the first part, we need to find out the square of the given number. Input to the function is a number. We want the output into the variable, let's say output equal to zero initially. We have to repeat for individual digit, so we have to iterate either using for loop or while. So here I use while, while number is greater than 0, this process is going to be repeated. Now what sort of process we need to repeat? This process. First we need to consider 9, then we have to consider 4. So first of all we have to separate out digit and then do the process. So what I will do, I will take the variable remainder and inside that I will store the remainder. So number mod 10 will hold the remainder and output value will store the previous value of output plus remainder square. So what are the values in the remainder which is get squared and also get added into the output. Finally, we have to do the division of this number, number floor 10. So this process is repeat for each and every digit will get the square of number and that function will return the output Not, that is nothing but the square of individual digit number so 9 square plus 4 square 97 output will get after execution of this particular function so here let's say i'll try this with some example square number and initially i pass 97 sorry 94 the expected outcome is 97 and i'll getting the same output 97 so the first process is complete this first process is complete we have to repeat this process unless and until we get a 1 so now we need to check whether that number is happy or not so also we need to monitor whether that addition is already been there previously we calculate or not in the second part i'll create a function happy and input to the function is n i'll create a variable visited as an empty set we'll have to repeat the process unless and until that number is not in the visited so either we use a for or while while square of the number we have to perform square of n is not in that variable that is visited after that, we will preserve the total sum of square of number that is n. If my sum, if my total sum is equal to equal to 1, what it means? It means it is a happy number. So I am going to return true. 
but if it is not the case then we'll move for the else part if it is not equal to 1 then we'll add that sum into visited so visited add and we are going to add that total sum after that we'll assign the value is equal to total sum so n is equal to total sum so every time that value of n is get this process will repeat till the square of number not in the visited else it will return the false now we will check the output if happy number so any particular number we can put it as input so i will put the 94 as example one if happy it means the input is number is equal to equal to true we are going to print the input number is happy number else if it is false it means we are going to print the input number is not happy after that we will execute the code the input number is happy number so we are getting the right outcome for this example number 1 we will try for the second example that is 20 and we know that 20 is not a happy number so we will again execute and we will check output is input number is not happy so this code is working fine this is one of the solution to find out whether the given number is happy or not if you know any other solution you can write it in the comment section i hope you like the content or i save your time thanks for watching this video